Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a quick before and after using the actions from the Action Mix collection. We've got the Color Mix 1. I'm going to go ahead and run that. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight my action and press play. And then I'm going to go to my layers. And if your layers window isn't open, you can just go to window and layers or you can click F7. And as you can see, we've got this group folder here. It says color mix one. And within that group, you can change the tone and the brightness and the pop. So the pop controls the contrast. So you can raise that up as well or lower the opacity. And if you want to add more brightness, you can brighten it up. If you want to reduce some tone, you can do that too. And to reduce the overall effect of all the layers together, you can do the main grouping folder right there, as you can see. All right, I'll go ahead and show you the other actions on this. So I'm going to grab the color mix too. Press play. As you can see, this has a little bit more of an earthy tone to it. It really brings out the greens. I go to my brightness, raise that up just a little bit. There we go. And you can see before and after. And same thing's going to go for my black and white. And go back to my layers. You can, if you want to kind of decrease some of that tone or get rid of it, it has a, a little bit of a blue hue to it. So you can adjust that. You can adjust the contrast and brightness, the shadows and the highlights, as well as the overall group. And lastly, we've got the black and white mix too. And this has a little bit more of a creamy feel. It's got kind of like a, a brownish hue to it. And again, these actions are really versatile and they got a lot of layers so you can adjust them to your liking to your image. Thanks everybody.